The 25th of April marks the 108th anniversary of the first major military action fought by Australian and New Zealand forces during the First World War. On this day in 1915, these soldiers formed part of the Allied expedition that set out to capture the Gallipoli Peninsula to open the way to the Black Sea for the Allied navies and to capture Constantinople, now Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, which was an ally of Germany. 20,000 of the 70,000 soldiers who landed were from Australia and New Zealand. They met fierce resistance from the Turkish defenders. What had been planned to knock Turkey out of the war quickly became a stalemate and the campaign dragged on for eight months. They landed at dawn. One Turk, only 16 years of age, described this landing. I was asleep in a shallow trench with other riflemen at Anzac Cove when the sentry woke us urgently. He shook us and pointed down the slope to the water below. We looked and strained in the half light and there saw shapes of boats with soldiers coming ashore. We were ordered to start firing. Some fell on the beach and I wasn't sure whether we hit them or they were taking shelter. They made for the base of the rise and then began climbing. Deeds of heroism in spite of illness, death and deprivation returned with dispatches. During those eight months, 2,700 New Zealanders and over 8,700 Australian soldiers were killed and almost 18,000 were wounded. This included Indigenous soldiers fighting for their country. They endured great hardships, starting with below zero temperatures at night and constant firing by the Turks, who also fought bravely. Nine Victoria Crosses were awarded to Australians during this brutal and bloody campaign. 6,000 of those who landed were from South Australia and 600 of them died. There were about 250 women too, nurses who toiled valiantly to attend to wounds and save lives. The Turks also suffered terrible losses during this stalemate until December when the Anzacs were evacuated. News of the landing at Gallipoli made a profound impact on Australians at home. The bloody sacrifice in attempting the daunting task of storming the Gallipoli Peninsula became an initiation ceremony in the birth of a nation. The Anzacs were brave, ingenious and loyal and these attributes helped Australia define itself as a nation. C.E.W. Bean, Australia's official historian, wrote at the time, Anzac stood and still stands for reckless valour in a good cause, for enterprise, resourcefulness, fidelity, comradeship and endurance that will never own defeat. Soon after, the 25th of April became the day on which Australians remembered the sacrifice of all those who had died. Today, Anzac Day, is a day when we remember all who have suffered and died in war and the pursuit of peace, and Rosemary is worn to remember them. It is a day when Australians reflect on the many different meanings of war. May all those who have given their lives in service of their country rest proudly in the knowledge of their achievement. May we and our successors remember their bravery, comradeship and sacrifice, lest we forget.